Aquas Killer Volca has this uh, mechanic where if it's being attacked by other Bakugan, its tail will slam down to the floor. And that is going to give it more stability on the card and therefore make it harder to knock off. Now you might be wondering, why even have the tail up in the first place? Why not always have it down? Well, you see, if it's on the edge of the card like this, or even a little bit back, you can fit a whole other Bakugan right underneath that tail. And this is a B3. This is larger than the size you'd normally be using with one of these guys. So, this is an excellent Bakugan to basically claim a card. You've got a defensive position from the front. That's going to be um, hard to knock off and hard to get onto the card. And you have plenty of space in the back to double stand. If you compare that with another defensive Bakugan, this is uh, Reboot 1, Ultra Finica, you have very little space to work with unless you come in from the side and just knock it around like that to reveal a spot to stick your Bakugan. No one's going to get on this because you're not going to be rolling it sideways usually, and if you roll it sideways, well now it's less defendable from, from this direction where your enemy's attacking from and then you've got a large spot there. So while yes this is a very defensive Bakugan, it is more difficult to double stand with. So this gives you, uh, an, you know, just excellent ability to double stand if you want, and if you are getting attacked, its tail hops down. You still have plenty of space, uh, just a little bit less, and it now becomes way more defensive because that tail hitting the ground, that just gives it a lot more stability. Another thing about uh, Killer Volca is that it is a cross and soul Bakugan, which means that these pieces here on both sides are removable, and you can put in, I think it's metal or rubber pieces instead. This one is plastic, so you can put in metal pieces that's going to give you a greater mass and therefore greater momentum, which would theoretically make it better at critical KOs and KOs. And also, since you're adding mass to the sides, you're going to make it better at side spinning. I can't test this because I don't have any of the metal pieces, uh, but that just makes this a good Bakugan to get if you already have cross and soul pieces lying around. Maybe you have like uh, another cross and soul Bakugan. It does not have soul pieces, as in the, the, these are not removable. These are sort of bespoke soul pieces for this Bakugan alone, alone. So it's only these cross pieces that are removable. And that is true for a number of cross and soul Bakugan that just don't have removable soul pieces. And I'm not sure if the same is true for cross pieces, but I'm, I'm sure, like, there's probably good. There's probably one that doesn't have removable cross pieces that I don't know about. So that is Aquas Killer Volca.